So if I wanted to um, go ahead and plot these points, again, just to recall, guys, this is going to be our, still our x, y axis. right? But again, rather than looking for the rectangular coordinates, um, we're just given a polar point. And again, polar, that r represents that directed distance away from the origin. You could also think about it like these little radiuses. So in this case, and then we have their angle, which is represent our angle in standard form. So what I like to do, do first is find the angle in standard form. Now technically, we're going to um, a lot of times you're going to s we're going to focus on angles in degree form. However, we can still do angles in um, in radians. So 150 degrees. Obviously, we recognize that is going to be in the second quadrant, right? Because halfway around the circle is 180. That's 30 to 30 degrees away from the x-axis, right? That's the reference angle is 30 degrees. Um, so, and then we're going to be a distance of three. So one, two, three. So we probably have something right around there. Let's just call maybe this A. Just to label it. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, and then for B, um, you can see that this is a negative angle, and that's fine. If you remember in standard form, negative just means it's going to be cl going clockwise, right? So to go clockwise, um, this is negative pi over three. So therefore, remember this is one third, two thirds, three thirds. So it should be somewhere down there, and that's going to be distance of five away from the origin. So one, two, three, four. Let's call that B. And there you go. Okay. Um, 